Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. If you've ever seen the 2001 movie A Beautiful Mind, you remember the Russell Crowe's impersonation of John Nash, a mathematician who could see numbers and um, visualize them in a way that most of us cannot do. He would probably look at this amount of data here and find the values that are low or high or, or you know relevant in some way rather quickly but the rest of us we have a problem we will actually have to dig rather deeply into our concentration abilities to find the ones that are especially low for example Ulla and Joan here are very low in January and then there's some high ones here like October for Maria but um, for the rest of us who are not John Nash, we could do a lot better in visualizing this information. There are a lot of tools that we can use to do that in Excel 2013. Most of these are also available from Excel 2010 at least, but I'm going to show you this in Excel 2013 now. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select all this information, and then there's this thing, conditional formatting which lets you illustrate this information much better. There are lots of ways to do that. You can do da data bars, for example. So if I put a green data ba bar there, you see that the very short ones become much more visible now. And the way this works is that it analyzes the whole range of information. So the highest le levels are down here, very, very close to 10,000. But if I put in a value up here for 100,000, like that, you'll notice that everything becomes really, really small in comparison with this 100,000 value there. So this is dynamic and updates all the time. So uh, I'll change that back. I'm going to actually remove the, the, the one I have here now. Let's remove that and put it back. I'm just doing that with Control Z for um, undo for this one. Another one is the color scales, which is a very beautiful way of doing it and here you see that the red ones are very low values and the green ones are high values and I'm gonna do control Z again and then conditional forming and I have the icon sets here I'm gonna use this one and now it doesn't fit That's uh, so I need to actually widen this slightly and just double click between the columns here to make it auto fit and here you see now it's showing the low values as um, red Actually, it's the lower 33% that's red, and the middle ones are uh, yellow, the middle 33%, and the top ones are green. Now, uh, I can actually go in and see these rules. If I go in and conditional formatting and manage the rules, I can see the rules that, that are applied now, and I can go in and edit that rule. I can see exactly what's going on here. So, when the value is above 67%, and then it's green and the yellow is between 33 and 67 percent and when it's below 33 uh, percent of the entire range it's uh, red. So that's a rather beautiful way of doing it. I'm going to show you one more way of using this. I'm going to start over. I'm going to remove that rule first uh, and let's say this is sales information now and they, uh, the team gets a bonus if they sell more than 8,000 and then I want to illustrate the ones that are over 8,000 and of course can, I can do that with a conditional formatting rule also so I'm gonna add a new rule here format only cells that contain that's a good one it is above then greater than and then I can actually pick and this of course indicates that that's a cell that I can pick from another so I can go there and click on that one so if, if the cell value is greater than the value in B18 here, I can set a format so then they'll get a bonus so I can do full with a nice green fill color there. All right, that looks rather good. So of course if I change something here now and make it 7,500 instead, you'll see that there are more bonuses popping up here. I can also combine this with a slider and to do that I have to first find the sliders and they're actually in the developers tab in Excel so I'm going to go in and customize the ribbon to show the developer tab and then on the developer tab I'm going to insert a uh, control this one so I can just do that 
and then I can set the values of this by going into properties for that and I will set, set a link there and link it to this and the current value can be 7500, that's fine minimum value can be 0, maximum value is 10,000 the incremental change is uh, 100 and the page change is 1000 alright now if I click away on this now you'll notice that I can drag this and the um, bonus level changes and of course the coloring changes too so that uh, shows you the conditional formatting and how you can use that to illustrate data in a rather nice way. Thank you for watching this demonstration.